Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. This is my 55 gallon aquarium after being stripped down. While I drained the water, I removed all the filters, heater, blower, UV sterilizer, and all the decor. All I had left in this tank from a group of close to 40 healthy juvenile cichlids that I had raised from babies were two cichlids, two dead ones, and two that were barely swimming. After draining the tank, I removed as much substrate as possible and began to fill the tank again with cold water. While it filled, I washed both HOB filters out with bleach, removing everything from inside them. I took apart my Eheim canister filter and washed it completely in bleach as well. I threw out the filter floss and washed the media in bleach. I removed everything from rocks to decor and after brushing and cleaning each item separately I put everything together in a large tub of bleach water for soaking. I soaked my cleaning brushes and nets all tubing and containers. Once the tank was full I added the bleach and turned on the pumps and blowers to get the water circulating. I added what seemed to be quite a bit of bleach, but it isn't noticeable until you lift the tank and even then it's very mild. The rule of thumb for sterilizing anything using bleach is you only add enough bleach until you can detect a slight scent. My 55 has been running with bleach water for over 24 hours now. I was very thorough and am very confident this aquarium is clean and free of disease. It took me half the day to get this completed where I felt it was safe. I was going to put off doing my 75 for a day or two, but the sooner I get it done, the happier I'll be. So after supper, I worked on it. I started the pipe on draining all the water. I again removed everything, the filters, the HOB blowers, heater, UV sterilizer, everything until there was nothing left but six fish. Again, while the aquarium drained, I washed all parts of the equipment in bleach water, brushing them out very well. Tossing out the filter floss but keeping the media, I got everything cleaned and put back together. And then it was time to catch the fish. I caught them without trouble which is a clear indication that a cichlid is not doing well. Cichlids are not meant to be easy to catch. It was really sad and I was torn up inside. Hubby could see me struggling with this and came over and offered to take them out back and do it for me. So that's what he did. I gave him instructions on how to use the clove oil and I went back to working on the tank. I swished the substrate around and removed the water, added fresh water, swished it around again. I did this a few times and then I began to refill the tank. I hooked up all the equipment on this tank as well and added the bleach. I will be leaving both tanks run like this for another day or two just to be sure. Once that time period has passed, I will begin dosing the tank with Secum Safe to neutralize the bleach. It will be some time yet before these tanks are inhabitable. I'd like some advice on which products I could get to help the cycle process. I do plan on catching some goldfish from my pond to help cycle as well. Now that this is all complete, I feel a huge burden has been lifted from me. I'm not happy about losing my fish, but I know my decision was the right one for me and for my other tanks. Thank you again for all your encouragement and support. You will never know how much you all have meant to me. I really do love you guys and thank you with a very grateful heart. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.